And we're joined by the Managing Director of SVM Asset Management. He's Colin McLean. Colin, great to see you. Uh, what, was your, what were your thoughts when you saw these results? Well, I think the, the, the core underlying business, the one they want to go on with, was a, a mildly disappointing uh, result. Uh, so that's the business that will have most value in future. But actually, it was in the non-core and bad areas where progress seemed to be much better. And I think that was quite reassuring along with the impairment news. So I think it's right the share price should pick up a little bit on that. Yeah, but by 6.5%, that's quite a move. It shows that there was a lot of bad news priced in. Uh, yes, I mean the shares are still, uh, you know, ha half the price that the management are incentivised on, uh, you know, approximately. So, uh, and they've they've fallen quite a bit in recent months. So, the uh, the, the shares have uh, not not been good good performers. Uh, and indeed, overall in the bank sector, the bank sector has pretty much unwound its relative outperformance from the end of last April. So, uh, it was a good place to be for a rebound in March and April last year, but not really since then. Right. So you're not a fan of them, or do? these prices represent a buying opportunity in your view? I think what's come out of the earnings season is Barclays uh, is being restored to health quite quickly and uh, has fewer of the legacy problems. So I think that's, that's good news uh, and HSBC to an extent. But I think it's, it's clear that the fortunes of Royal Bank and Lloyds are, are tied quite a bit to the, the UK economy and uh, we don't really have clarity on whether we're going to get a, a, a steady progression now in a growth from the UK economy. So impairments may have peaked, but it's not impossible this could drag on longer. So are you basing that on the view that as we come out of recession, as we get to some modicum of growth, all the other bad debts start reappearing as well as the recovery sets in? Uh, yes, I think so. And I think we've already seen <laughs> slightly more on the, the, the property real estate side come out in, in problems than the, the banks had admitted to. So I think there's still the potential. Quite a lot, I think, is, is being covered up with uh, an unwillingness to put certain types of uh, businesses into administration just now. There's no ongoing market for their assets. So quite a lot is just being propped up at present and kept going. Uh, we won't really know whether uh, you know, th those, those things uh, w will turn out to be impairments for some time. Now, I, I was reading your, the, the notes that you sent, uh, and they were, you were talking about so much of it, you're not seeing the balance sheet here because so much of the balance sheet is level three. What does that mean, and what do you mean by that being the cupboard that people haven't really opened yet? Well, well I think it, 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 Royal Bank has unwound a, its balance sheet by about a third, but we're still talking about £1.6 trillion, pounds, so it's, quite, it's a lot of money, and uh, uh, its, its overall lending is, is uh, well ahead of deposits, so it's going to be some time before it gets that back into balance. But these company, uh, companies, the, the banks were operating with very high leverage uh, using a lot of derivatives and uh, w we've had some dispensation uh, in accounting that they don't necessarily need to mark these things to market to be realistic about values. So there's still quite a large part of banks' assets and it covers not just Royal but a number of others that we don't really have valued on a, a transparent public way and we'll just have to wait and see whether the carrying values of those turn out to be true. Colin, uh, great to see you. Have a great day. Uh, Colin McLean there. He's from SVM Asset Management.